Yeah, it's sounding good, mate. If anything, you're a little bit quiet, Paul, but it could be just this radio. No, I've got it on my call here, so I think it's the other one, it's more louder, isn't it? Yeah, it could be that, mate. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah, no, I see, I can hear you loud and clear over here. Um, I'm just going to do some more program on this when I get home. But so far, so good, mate. Yeah, what on the handheld are you doing more programming? Yeah, I've got quite a few more things I need to get in it. I need to get a new adapter for the top. Because uh, I've got about three in it, so I'm getting massive, probably getting loads of uh, insertion loss with it. Alright, what's so is it? Is it not just an SMA? Yeah, but it's, I need an SMA to a SO239 just to make things a bit neater. I have got a pigtail cable as well, but I just don't know which way is the best way to do it, really. Uh, I wouldn't have a clue. I don't think I've got any either. Yeah, I'll give the one I had to Waddy when I sold him me uh, 3600, but I'll get another one. They're only three quid from Maplin. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, well, that's what I think. It's different though, because it'll be... Is it... Is it is there's a screw thread on the top or in actual side of the radio? Um, it's a, it's a female on the radio. It's a male that goes into it, if that makes any sense. It's, well, it's exactly the same as what yours is, is what that motor roll is. Same connector. Right. No, I think I've only got one. 60HV mobile. Yeah. No, I'll get another one, mate. I might even have one spared at home somewhere. I just need to have a good look around, mate, but... Oh, no, I do like the Andel. But yeah, so you... Which which uh, car park are you at? Yeah, I'm in Green Gear Junior School Playground at the back. It's uh, across the road from Cameron Garage on Rollinson Street. Roger, well, I'm over in the car park over in Walney, mate, as I say. Over on their Central Drive. Uh, and I've got quite a lot of buildings behind me as well. So there's quite a lot between us, really. Yeah, it seems to be doing the job because I struggle with two metres around here. Yeah, I've got no signal off you, really. It's, I've got an X that keeps coming up and I'm on high power, but you, yeah, you're making the trip, mate. Yeah, well, I should I'm just check now. I'm on high power as well, so at least it's making the trip. It's uh, more about the audio than the signal. It's doing absolutely superb, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with that, Paul, considering the power uh, output on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing another video as well. I've been uh, been asked to make quite a few in different areas, in different ways with the aerial on and mobile, so I thought I'd do another one, mate. It's probably only about, what, two, three miles between us, would you say, and a lot of buildings? I would say, yeah, but it's quite a lot of build-up around here, isn't it? It's pretty much town centre, where I am. You've only got the town hall, I suppose, blocking it and everything else. 60HV Roger, yeah. Oh, well, as long as this sounds all right. As I say, I'm on the... Uh, Got the external microphone plugged in it as well. Sounds absolutely fine, but you need to just remember to keep it a little bit further away because it's when you come up close to it, it um, pops my speaker. Yeah, Stuart was doing the same with me before. He was hellishly loud when he come on. Um, I think he put the AGC on and it just made it... He was very, very loud. You're just absolutely just right. But he sounded all right to me, so whether he was a little bit closer or whatnot, he wasn't uh, clipping at all, but... Just getting used to where I am, isn't it? Roger, yeah, no, he was. He was he was too loud to me when he come through. But there you go, it could have just been the settings I've got on this, mate. I'm going to check them again when I get home. I'm going to plug it in the computer. I've got to add all the Simplex FM uh, channels yet. 70s, that, that's the only thing that's missing from it now. Oh, well, that's good stuff. That's another code plug if anyone else gets one. I've added loads to it, mate. All the local scanning stuff, there's, there's all sorts. There's PMRs in it. Oh, there's there's all sorts of stuff in it, mate. So it's it's getting there slowly but surely. And is it just as easy to change the zone and stuff on them? Hey, the zone changing is even easier on this. You've got a button on the left and a button on the right. And I'll just do it just for the camera, just quickly. Hang on, I'll I'll drop the mic a set ball. Hang on. Change zones. Go. Well, I've I've done it this way. And then when you're in each zone, you just basically turn it. Let's go back. Oh, 60 HV, there we go, I'm back. Yeah, dead easy. I've, I've assigned two buttons on the front of the radio for changing zones. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, well, that's what you need. Definitely what you need. The, uh, what's the new going to be uh, user-friendly as well? 
Well, I've got it, so I've got the left one is zoned down and the right one is zoned up, so you, you scan through the zone instead of pressing your zone button and then going through it, it's automatically all all the same channel, all the repeaters have all got, they're all in exactly the same place, like slot one, slot two. You know, as long as that, that channel selector button's in the same position on the top, every time you go from zone up and down, it remains the same, so it's quite, quite clever. Excellent, yeah, good stuff. I'll have to decide now which one to go for, whether it's a handheld or a beer. Roger, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go for both, mate. Yeah, but we're not all as rich as you, are we? Six days remobile, I wish. This guy behind's going to back into me if he's not careful. Yeah, nope, I only got all mine because of all my stuff I sold, Paul. And I've still got a good bit of coin left, so you never know. I might just buy myself something else yet. Yeah, the northern area. It's so many other guinea pigs and everyone else can go and buy them and just come on straight away. You just want me to edit all the local cold plugs, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's got to be done. Well, are you on the move? Are you still in that car park? I'm still sitting here waiting for our Alicia to come out. It's now till quarter past three. Uh, does everybody not sort of look around and wonder who you're talking to? Probably, but I can't see him looking, can I? <laughs> Hey, you never thought of that, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah they'd, be, uh, they'd be all wondering who you're talking to on it. Thinking, who, yeah, who, who's he on that radio to all the time? They probably all know you anyway. They probably all think, oh, it's that mad one from Wally. They'll all be listening. Yeah, they probably recognise the voice and think it's the same guy he's always talking to. Yeah, exactly. But I don't care, like I said, I can't see him looking. Oh, dear. Right, we'll stop the video. I think that'll do.